Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to figure out what was the fastest time from Usain Bolt's world record run. So if we look at the graph, we have two kind of distinct slopes here. If you remember from a position versus a time graph, the slope of the graph gives you the velocity. So we have one velocity kind of like that, and then another velocity or slope like this. So the steeper the slope is, the faster the velocity. So obviously this is the one that we're gonna be using. And since it's essentially all the same slope, we can really just take this point to this point because if you remember slope is equal to the change in the rise over the change in the run. Now, if you think about it, we have, what is the rise? Well, the rise is the change in X. What is the run? It's the change in time. And what equation is this? Well, it's the velocity equation. So that's why the slope gives us the velocity. And so we can take this point right here, which we'll say is 1.9 seconds. So okay, let's do this first. We have X final minus X initial divided by T final minus T initial. All right, so now let's plug this in. So we have the X final, we said it was this one here is 100 meters. And minus the initial, we said is this one, so that's 10 meters. And then we're, we're going to divide that by the time. So right here, this time is, let's see, that's nine. So that's about nine and a half. So 9.5 seconds minus the initial, the time is two, so that's like right before the two, so 1.9 seconds. 100 minus 10, and then divided by 9.5 minus 1.9. Nine. And let's add the parentheses there. All right. So that gives us a speed of 11.84. So we'll round that to 12 meters per second. So that is the velocity for the fastest section from his world record run. Now they want us to do it in meters per second and miles per hour. So let's change this over to miles per hour as well. So we have 12 meters per one second. Um, you can start with either one. I'm going to start with the seconds first. We know in one, let's see, we want seconds on top and we want to convert it into hours. So we know in one hour there are 3,600 seconds. I know the seconds cancel and we're in my, uh, meters per hour. And now we want the meters to cancel. So they'll be down here. And I'm going to go into centimeters. So in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. And in, let's see, meters will cancel. We're in centimeters per hour. And in centimeters, go to inches, there is 2.54 centimeters per one inch. Centimeters cancel. And now I'm going to go to feet. So in one foot, there are, of course, 12 inches. Now we're in feet per hour. And then finally, we can go from feet to miles. In one mile, there are 50 to 80 feet. So now there is a section at the beginning of the book called useful data. And there's probably a conversion from meters to miles or, or, or meters to kilometers, I think it is. And then you can go from kilometers to meters, from meters to kilometers to miles. But if you're on a test and you don't have that useful data chart, it's really easy to get stuck. I've done it before. And you're like, gosh, I have no idea. I need to convert this. It, my teacher didn't give it to me. So that's why I like to remember something simple like this one. This one I feel is really useful because all these other ones, you kind of already know. You already know there's 12 inches in a foot. You Most people remember that there's 5,280 feet in a mile. 
And um, this one you can figure out by going to minutes and then seconds. So if you know this one right here, this is the bridge, this is the money, because now you can go from metric to inches and figure out the rest if you get stuck on a test. So I did this the long way to show you what to do if you're stuck on a test. So now let's do this on the calculator. So we have 12 times 3,600, and then we have 100, 2.54, so multiply by 100 and then divide by 2.54. Now we have divide by 12 and divide by 12 and then divide by 50, 5280 to put us into miles per hour. So that gives us 26.84. So it is 26.8 miles per hour. Now, before you go, let me show you one last quick thing. This will save your life on the test if you have this calculator. So we just found that is the miles per hour by doing that big old long thing, right? Let's do this. We go from here, put that in, and now we'll go to second, and then convert right here. So second eight, and then we're gonna go English to metric. And then here you can go to miles to kilometers or feet to meters or inches to centimeters. So this, if you have this calculator here, the TI-36X Pro, this can also save your life. Cause if you get stuck and you're like, gosh, you know, I don't remember any of them, plug it in here and convert it. It will tell you, and it's not cheating because it's in your calculator, calculator is approved. So use it, use every tool that you have to you. And there's a link to this calculator in the description below if you want it. And it helps the channel out and will definitely help you out on the test. So this is the answer. We have 12 meters per second and 26.8 miles per hour for the fastest time of Usain Bolt in his world record run.